Welcome back to another episode of The Shack Show. And in this episode of The Shack Show, I'm going to be talking about rigged sluggos. So I have two rigged sluggos here. I got a white one and a black one. These are the two colors, I guess, that I use uh, primarily when I'm using sluggos. I really like the rigged sluggos. They are a weightless sluggo. So for those, for those of you who are like not familiar, sluggos are a weightless soft plastic. Uh, they're very productive. Uh, and they catch a lot of really, really big fish. I've had tremendous success in estuaries, off the rocks, you know, in on sandy beaches. They pretty much catch bass anywhere, and they have a, something that is very hard to find with artificial lures, and that is this just unbelievable realistic motion to them when they're in the water. Any little movement, you know, in the water gets them to work, uh, you can twitch them, you can reel them straight, you could twitch, twitch, pause. There's a whole bunch of different ways that you can actually work sluggos. And they're so productive and you know, you'll know you be wondering to yourself, you know, I got, a, I got a white one and a black one here. I fish the white most of the time it, during the day and I fish the black 100% of the time at night. Uh, I really think that like black colors, yeah, they work fine during the day. But I also think I think that like more like w other pearl like lighter colors work well and obviously like a pearl colored white soft plastic is kind of the classic and uh, really mimics any bait fish out there. So you're able to mimic the bait fish that you would like to mimic with the white during the day and then at night you can use the black one and it gives off that profile at night. At night I tend to work them a little bit slower but during the day I like to work them in a way where they're moving back and forth, almost like a underwater spook or like a just subsurface spook. Uh, you cast them out there, and what I like to do is twitch them, reel a little bit, twitch them, and what's gonna happen is it's gonna give this darting action and it's gonna swim to one side and then swim to the other and then swim to the other side, and it's a pretty nice action and very realistic action to it. It's a fairly large profile. I mean, these are the nine inch rigged sluggos and you can get them in smaller sizes and bigger sizes, I'm pretty sure. But the sluggos in general are uh, really good at producing those bigger bass and pulling those bigger bass out of schools. Yeah, you can catch really small bass on them. I've caught my fair share of tiny micro bass that I, like, I feel like are the same size as the sluggo itself. But it gives off such a realistic action that if there are big fish, around it will trick those bigger bass into hitting and eating the soft plastic. So I always like to tell this story. I remember I was fishing on a sand beach and it was a lot of sand flats and very shallow water, probably two, three feet of water. And I was trying to throw all sorts of different things. I was throwing needlefish. I was throwing little minnow plugs like red fins. I was throwing uh, a whole bunch of stuff because there's some a bunch of sand eels around and nothing was getting eaten. So what I did is I took, uh, I took one of these soft plastics, actually the black one to be specific, and I, I casted it out. In first cast, I started twitching it across the sandbar. And I would twitch, twitch, and it would dart from one side to the other, and then I would let it pause for a good second, you know, and almost let it just drift in the current a bit, and then I would just tweak it a little bit with my wrist and not reel at all. And it was on that pause just as I started to twitch it again, a big bass comes up and just smashes it. I hook into this thing, it's thrashing all over the surface, it gets some traction, takes off in the current, it's running, it's running, it's running, and then boom, it pulls off. And I was, I was devastated, but I was like, for a night that was just super slow to throw out the soft plastic and like have that reaction almost immediately shows that they're very, very productive. And you know, you've, I've definitely caught some really nice big, big bass on them in other scenarios, but that one just sticks out of my head because I threw so many different things in my bag at them. And the soft plastic, twitching it, moving it slow at night, had that like quick reaction to it that was just unbelievable. And during the day, sluggos are one of those things that I always talk about during the day, how it's a lot harder to get, to trick a big bass into eating something that's under the surface. It's definitely not impossible, but I've always found that it's just more difficult top water tends to get their attention and tends to give them a better shot to maybe trying to commit to that uh, soft plastic. Where 
sluggos during the day, soft plastics are one of those lures that bass will commit to like in the water when they can fully see it. It lands in the water, you give it a few twitches, you either reel it slow or you're just twitching it and it's very in and not a lot of action. I'm talking about with your rod, just a little wrist action, like a little bit of wrist action. And what that's going to do is it's going to make the, the soft plastic work side to side and it's going to look extremely realistic in the water. And that is uh, just going to get that reaction strike from that bass almost immediately. And uh, estuaries are fantastic for this. You can fish them in estuaries by drifting them in the current and hardly even reeling, just twitching them, you know, with your wrist. You don't even have to reel. And you can cover so much water in a scenario like that. That's why I love, you know, fishing soft plastics for bass uh, at night. And the, I mean, the beauty of these things is they catch big bass and they catch big bass everywhere. Uh, they'll catch big bass, you know, off the rocks, as I was saying, estuaries, rivers, anything like that. You're going to have a good chance at getting a really nice fish. Uh, they're one of my go-to early spring lures in general. I'm a huge fan of fishing soft plastics in the early, early spring. I've had the most success out of any other lure in the early spring with soft plastics. I feel like you're able to match a lot of the profiles that they're feeding on. You're able to fish very low and slow and you can get that you know profile and that very seductive looking action in the water to those bass and bring it right across their face and then they just pound it it's it's pretty awesome so thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you liked it please like and subscribe it really helps me out and i'll see you in the next video